Oof, your beauty is like that of the Kohinoor. I mean, that's quite a cliche thing to tell your lover. But that's how romanticized the beauty of Kohinoor is. Kohinoor, the most famous diamond in the world. But what if I tell you that with this fame, it holds equal amount of controversies and a curse? He who owns this diamond will own the world, but will also know all its misfortunes. Only God or a woman can wear it with impunity. What? Seriously? What's this story? Aha! Uh-huh. That's what I am here to discuss. I am here to talk about the Kohinoor. And this video will answer your question. Is the Kohinoor diamond cursed? Before we start, let me give you a quick introduction to Kohinoor. The Kohinoor diamond is one of the most famous diamonds in the world. The Kohinoor diamond was first mentioned in 1306 when it was taken from a Raja of Malwa whose family had held the diamond for centuries. It was described as weighing 186 carats and was an oval cut white diamond, the shape and size of a small hen's egg. The Kohinoor diamond belonged to various Indian and Persian rulers but it became a part of the crown jewels of England at the time that Queen Victoria was proclaimed Empress of India. The Kohinoor was recut at this time and now weighs 108.93 carats and is kept in the Tower of London. So what do we know about the origin and meaning of the name Kohinoor? The Kohinoor originated from India in Golconda at the Kolur mine and was specifically mined from the Royal Sima Diamond Mine, meaning land of stones. This was done during the rule of the Kakatiya dynasty. The Kohinoor was then passed from one ruling dynasty to the next. The original name of the diamond was Samantik Mani, prince and leader among diamonds. In 1739, Nadir Shah, the king of Persia, invaded India and was said to refer to the diamond as the Mountain of Light. The Persian Arabic words for the Mountain of Light were Kohinoor. The magnificence of the diamond and its value symbolize the power of an empire. So, wait, is it really cursed? Mm, somewhat, yes. The curse of Kohinoor diamond dates back to a Hindu text from the time of the first authenticated appearance of diamond in 1306. The curse of the Kohinoor diamond reads, He who owns this diamond will own the world but will also know all its misfortunes. Only God or a woman can wear it with impunity. The history and lives of the rulers who owned the Kohinu diamond were filled with violence, murders, mutilations, torture and treachery. Whether or not people believe in the curse of the Kohinu diamond, the history of the stone is undeniable and the threat of Kohinu curse is enough to make people cautious. The British royal families were obviously aware of the curse of the Kohinoor and from the reign of Queen Victoria, when the Kohinoor diamond came into their possession, it has always gone to the wife of the male heir to the throne. The history timeline details the story of the Kohinoor diamond and it begins from 1200 to 1300s when there were many dynasties who owned the Kohinoor diamond including the Slave dynasty, the Khilji dynasty the Tughlaq dynasty, the Sayyid dynasty, and the Lodi dynasty. These were all brief reigns ending with war and violence. In 1303, the Raja of Malwa was forced to give the diamond to the rulers of the Kakatiya Empire. Soon after, in 1323, the Kakatiya Empire fell after a rule stretching from 1083 to 1323. The diamond was taken by Muhammad bin Tughlaq, who became the Sultan of Delhi from 1325 to 1351. During the Delhi Sultanate, Muslim armies consisting of Mongols, Turkic, Persian and Afghan warriors invaded India. In 1526, the Kohinoor diamond passed to the Mughal Empire when the Timurid Prince Babur defeated Ibrahim Lodi, the last of the Delhi Sultans, at the First Battle of Panipat. Babur mentions in his memoirs, the Babur Nama, 
that the diamond had belonged to an unnamed Raja of Malwa. The Mughal Empire ruled most of the Indian subcontinent for 200 years and the Kohinoor passed from one Mughal emperor to the next. Violence and bloodshed follow these years often, marked by the sons of the emperors rebelling and overtaking their fathers. The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, who was famous for building the Taj Mahal, had the Kohinoor diamond placed onto his peacock throne. The Kohinoor changed ownership several more times until the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan took the throne. In 1639, a struggle for the empire started between his four sons, Dara Shikoh, Shah Shuja, Aurangzeb and Murad Baksh, when brother killed brother. Shah Shuja executed his brother Dara Shikoh, and in 1658, Aurangzeb defeated Shuja and he was tortured to death together all with his family. In 1739, the Persian king Nadir Shah invaded the Mughal Empire, defeating their emperor and stole the great Kohinoor diamond. The Kohinoor diamond was taken to Persia. In 1747, the empire of Nadir Shah quickly disintegrated after he was assassinated. The curse of the Kohinoor strikes again? Seems like it. After Nadir Shah's assassination, the diamond passed to his successors. Each were dethroned and ritually blinded. Psych, that's traumatic. Ranjit Singh took the empire and position of the Kohinoor diamond later. Raja Ranjit Singh died in 1839 and his successors lacked his bravery and vision. The Sikh kingdom became weak and the British conquered India, which became a part of the British Empire. The British Raj gained control of India from 1858 to 1947. The British Governor General of India, Lord Dalhousie, was responsible for the British acquiring the Kohinoor. Dalhousie arranged that the Kohinoor diamond should be presented by Ranjit Singh's successor, Dilip Singh, to Queen Victoria, the Empress of India. The great exhibition was staged in Hyde Park in London when the Kohinoor was put on view to the British public. In 1852, Prince Albert ordered that the Kohinoor diamond should be recut from 186 carats to its current 105 carat, thus increasing its brilliance. The Kohinoor diamond was mounted in a tiara with more than 2,000 other diamonds. The Queen Consorts, Queen Alexandra and Queen Mary wore the crowns. In 1936, the stone was set into the crown of wife of King George VI. Queen Elizabeth, later known as the Queen Mother, wife of George VI. The British royal families were obviously aware of the curse of the Kohinoor. He who owns this diamond will own the world, but will also know all its misfortunes. Only God or a woman can wear it with impunity. And from the reign of Queen Victoria, the Kohinoor diamond has always gone to the wife of the male hire of the throne. That is one interesting piece of history. And we have much more ready for you. All you need to do is subscribe to our channel and support us in our journey. Comment down your views, share the video with fellow enthusiasts and stay tuned for more. Until we meet next, stay curious, stay awesome. Walt of Wokes, signing off.